Hello and welcome to the Cameron and Tia show. Today, just in time for Black Friday, we have one of our honestly like funnest videos of the year. Today we are doing our holiday gift guide and I am showing you all of the fun things that we have, we own, we recommend. There are gifts for both just like normal people and photographers. So gifts for him, gifts for her, gifts for the host, games, all kinds of stuff and then there are some photographer stuff. So the stuff for photographers we are a little partial to because we do have have some of our products in there but we also have a whole lot of other stuff that I'll show you today so let's jump right in first is my favorite purchase of the year they are the Taz Ugg slippers and I absolutely love them so like honestly Pam told me leading up to this that maybe I shouldn't get these because we live in Minnesota and they're kind of like not that practical because they have like the low back and so like it snows here a lot and if I was gonna get snow inside there like getting my socks wet like that's not the vibe but I got them in fall and I literally wear them so freaking much. Like honestly all the time, like probably like five out of seven days of the week because I love them. I also feel like I had this common problem where I had all of these fall outfits and my fall pants just like didn't really make sense with wearing sneakers and a lot of my like sneakers are very summery and summer feeling. And so I like, I don't know, there was like a weird line both they didn't fit like the genre, but then also like the way that my pants went and the way that they would cut off would look like freaking weird with slip uh, with sneakers. These look cute with everything. Like I can wear kind of like knitted socks or like frilly socks and I can wear my pants and the socks will show a little baby bit and it's so cute and it just like solved all of my problems. So they have the signature Ugg fabric on the inside so warm it's so comfy i probably won't wear them in the snow in the winter but they could be a really good fall shoe i'm kind of even wondering if i can wear them a little in the spring um like with some cute outfits i also love the platform it's chunky so they have ones that don't have the platform but i want the platform and it's chunky but it's still comfy like it doesn't hurt my feet to wear them for a long time and it's not really like heavy like you would expect with like this depth that it'd be really heavy with the chunkiness so super cute this is the traditional like chestnut um, what's it called? I can only think of flavor. Um, chestnut color, and then it has just the nice, like, embroidery around it. So, love, such a good gift for someone. Okay, next up is this leather duffel. Cam has had this for years, and I think it is so cute, and it is so classy. So, he uses this for a lot of, like, bachelor parties or weekend trips or we're just like going up north to shoot a wedding because it's a really really nice size see it's like pretty small and compact from the outside but it has tons of pockets it has like little organizer pockets in the side here what's also really really nice is it has a shoe pocket in the bottom so that you can just slip shoes in there and they're not getting your clothes dirty but i think it looks classy as can be and again he's had this for years and i don't feel like it's ever really gotten any like wear or tear it's this nice leather well, suede? I don't know. It's like leathery suede. It just feels really, really nice. This is a go-to for him for every single trip. This is my Dyson Airwrap. Um, I absolutely love it. I know that these were super, super popular a couple of years ago, and so I think everybody watching this probably knows what it is, but if you don't, it's a styling tool, and it has different attachments, so, so you can remove this um, from like a smoothing brush to a hair dryer to curling attachments like this, thicker curling attachments. I use the hair dryer and these thinner curling attachments the most, and um, the hair dryer is amazing. The hair dryer, honestly, is almost worth it, but there is just a normal Dyson hair dryer, so you probably don't need the full styling tool. But I use the hair dryer literally every single time that I dry my hair because it is freaking amazing. And then I also use these thinner curling attachments the most as well. So there's a couple different things. You can curl each individual section with these and you get tons of volume. They're like big bouncy curls. This is actually how I curled my hair today. But what I did today is I will literally just like run this through here and it kind of picks up sections, picks up sections and it will just kind of like style your hair with volume and with a little oomph. And it legitimately takes like I don't know, three minutes. Like I'll just be like, doo -doo 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 -doo. like I'm not picking up each section. The normal process is that you like turn it on, you let it grab the section, you hold it, you do like a cool shot, which is just a cool shot of air, and then you let it go, and then you would repeat, you know, like a normal how you would do with like a tong based curling iron. But um, if I literally just go, doo -doo -doo, it adds a little zhuzh, it adds a little body for me, and my hair is styled. So like on a day where I'm like, I don't necessarily need curls, I just need something, my hair sticks straight otherwise, I will just do that, and I feel like that is game changing for me so today I literally just did that and then I took my curling iron just like a you know cheap nine dollar one 
and I just did some definition for some pieces. And so I'll do that a lot, which is literally game changing because it saves me time. Not only like if I did just a normal cur tong curling iron all the way around my head, like that takes some time. This can literally just be like zoom, zoom, zoom. So it is so worth it. I've used it for years. Cam got this for me for Christmas one year. So it is just so amazing and I absolutely love it. Okay, next are AirPods Max. I absolutely love these. The noise canceling is clutch, plus they are so, so comfy. So they come with this kind of like magnetic case that's really nice, and then you can take them and put them over your ear, and they are just so comfy cozy. I love everything about them. I normally, if I wore my AirPods Pro for a long time, like if I was like cleaning or vacuuming or like mowing the lawn, they start to hurt my ears, and I know you can do like different inserts, but I would literally try them all out, and I just feel like they would get kind of achy. Plus, I didn't love the way that noise canceling worked with them. Like, it felt, I don't know, almost like a little echoey, like if I like lean too much that I'd kind of break the seal or something. This is just so comfy, and the noise canceling is so comfy too. So I love to be able to wear these. I think they also look freaking cute also, just like over your ear like that versus other AirPods. Um, I also like to wear them outside doing yard work if I don't want to be interrupted because then I feel like people can see that I'm wearing headphones and they can be like, oh, I'm not going to bug her. We're in a chatty neighborhood and if I'm just wearing AirPods underneath and you can't really see them, um, then I feel like everyone comes and chats with me and I can't really hear them, especially if it's on noise canceling. Ah, uh, it's just a whole thing. So definitely a splurge purchase, but we absolutely love them and I think the AirPods Max are so, so worth it. So next up is Summer Friday's Jet Lag Mask. So this is an interesting mask because you actually put it on and you keep it on. It's not like you put the mask on and you wipe it off. They do have at least two other masks. I have a pumpkin one and I have a rose one and they smell absolutely divine. They're incredible, but you wash them off like normal. This you just put on and it's honestly like just a really ooey gooey thick, but it doesn't feel heavy moisturizer. So I love to use it at night before I go to bed, I'll put it on and it just like, I wake up with like buttery soft skin or I will use it underneath my makeup if I'm doing like a little bit more of a look and I want a really nice, I kind of use it as a primer, but it just like all of my makeup just like soaks into it and it doesn't like settle into fine lines. It just like gives me a base, you know, like a really nice base. So this is the Jet Lag Mask. I've gone through so many of these. I absolutely love them. I also honestly love the branding of Summer Fridays and I love everything Summer Fridays because I also love the lip balms from Summer Fridays. So this is actually a holiday set that they do every year, which is, it's called Lip Butter Balm and it's their lip balm and it's kind of a gloss, but it's also a balm. It's like a gloss consistency, but it does the properties of a balm, you know, like it really like nourishes your lips. So this is iced coffee, cherry, and vanilla. Vanilla is their normal basic one. Cherry smells absolutely divine. It does smell, yeah, like artificial cherry, which if people aren't into that, like, you know, for like cough syrup or something. But here's the thing. I don't like cherry cough syrup. Like I'm, I'd be grossed out by that. But this I absolutely love. It kind of smells like tricks. <laughs> um, this has a red tint to it. The normal one just has a normal glossy tint to it. And then this one, iced coffee, it does have a subtle brown tint to it, but it's so, so beautiful. And honestly, this smells, holy crap, whoa. Absolutely divine. Um, I keep my iced coffee one upstairs and I put it on in the mornings after I wash my face because I feel like it just like gives me the same like kick as coffee would of like, boom, you're awake, let's get it, let's get out for the day. So summer Fridays just in general, but these are my two absolutely amazing die for products that I am obsessed with. Okay, next up are my favorite earrings. These are like Bottega dupes. Um, they're the little teardrop earrings. You've probably seen them on TikTok everywhere. Um, and yeah, they are dupes, but I think they're freaking cute. They are like the um, glassy gold, not matte, you know, I don't know, glossy? Oh, glossy is the word. <laughs> they're the glossy gold. They are the perfect size. You can see here, if it was on my ear here, that they are so gorgeous and I love to wear them for multiple occasions. I will wear them in just like a normal outfit like this, just like out to dinner or like hanging out with friends. And I think it just classes the outfit up just like a tiny baby bit. Um, but I'll also wear them with like nice outfits. Like I wore them to a friend's wedding this year and I think they match the vibe. They make a lot of sense. People comment on them all the time. I get compliments constantly about them because I just think they're really cute and they are very affordable at this Amazon link. Okay, next, clear umbrellas. So these are such a good gift for a photographer because photographer needs these for engagement sessions, for weddings, and honestly, you can never really have too many because 
sometimes you want at least one per like wedding party couple. So like a groomsman and a bridesmaid together and then you can have one for every single groomsman every single bridesmaid so like having eight is really really nice and then we even like to have like two more for our couple maybe you even want one for you as the photographer but the clear umbrellas are clutch they're cute and they let light in so let me show you they look like this they're freaking cute because they have the bubble shape to them but they still let in all kinds of light so that you can have like normal poses like this if you need to get out of the rain or we also like to shoot through them a lot or like maybe you can put the lip on the back just like tipped a little bit and see you can see so much through here that it's so pretty so we've actually gotten these as a gift from our sister once um she found some uh, that were a super good deal and she bought some for us and the reason they're a good gift and photographers always need them even if they currently have a set is that they get a lot of heavy usage so if we have them at a wedding and it is downpouring at a wedding it also probably means that parents don't have umbrellas or random guests don't have umbrellas or vendors need them to get from one spot to the next spot underneath a pavilion or something to set up and so having these really helps everyone out and it means that they get a lot of wear and tear so they might break they might get lost someone might take them home so giving them to photographers as gifts is super super handy because it's not something that they're necessarily like budgeting for but it's really nice for them to have and to not have to worry about that. Okay, next up is a tackle box. So we use this tackle box as our detail styling kit. We actually have a video that is showing you an entire tour of it so that you can see everything that we have inside here. But the reason I love this is that I felt really challenged previously of like, okay, I'm going in a bridal suite on the wedding day and I don't know like how big it's going to be, how much room I have. I don't wanna bring in like this huge bag and then not have a place to put it in the bridal suite. So this is perfect because it keeps all of our styling elements compartment compartmentalized, but it's also like pretty small and pretty compact. So see, it can like open up like this and I can have everything and I can see everything from like ring boxes to acrylic blocks for lifting flat lays to vintage stamps, all of the things. Um, so this is really nice to gift your photographer friend or photographer family member because again It's one of those things that they might not necessarily buy like they might have like a little bag and like whatever it's doing fine But getting them a tackle box will keep it so so organized. We have bright pink. I just liked it I thought it was fun. It was funky. It kind of fits our colorful brand But there are normal colors that absolutely we will have linked for you down below so the next thing is ribbon so we have a source that we absolutely love the ribbon for it's so so affordable and it comes in packs of multiple colors so for example we have a neutral set here which has this taupe it has this champagne or like ivory and then it has white and so you can get kind of sets to get lots of different colors and they're really really affordable it has these frayed edges um it doesn't wrinkle that easily and if it does you can just really quickly take a steamer over it or like a um iron and um they just look absolutely beautiful for flat lay photos because they're so affordable it allows you to get a lot of different colors so that you kind of have your bases covered for all of your clients different color palettes for their wedding so um yeah this is really really nice i'm not sure exactly what fabric what type of fabric this is i don't know a lot about fabric but like chiffon or something um that it lays beautifully it's light it's easy and it's gorgeous so that's something nice to just gift photographers especially if they are like building up their kit right now you can ask them if they need certain colors and then you can be able to gift that to them so like I mentioned before, if you are interested in purchasing any of these items for presents, for gifts, or you want to see the whole rest of our holiday gift guide, the link is in the description down below and we'd be so happy if you would go check it out. If you have any questions about any of these items, drop your comments down below and I'm happy to dive in, explain anything and everything. And until next time, bye!